Hey guys, in this video we'll be discussing Hey guys, welcome back or welcome for the first time So in this video we'll be discussing how to use this app known as focus to do and For those of you who don't know what this app is all about. Let me give you a brief overview focus to do is a uh productivity app that helps you take the benefit of pomodoro technique while studying for your exams and for those of you who don't know what pomodoro technique is i have made a full in-depth video explaining that technique and you can first watch that if you don't know what it is by clicking the i button right over here but still let me give you a quick overview of a pomodoro technique within few seconds a pomodoro technique is a study technique that helps you divide your entire task of studying into small intervals so that the task does not seem too big for you and you get intimidated by this for example if you have planned to study for eight hours today then instead of going for eight hours at one bunch what you do is you use pomodoro technique and divide your entire study into small intervals say 50 minutes at a time or even 25 minutes at a time and then take short breaks in between them and then once you complete four sessions of those pomodoros then you take a long break and this process of taking strategic breaks in between your studies helps you study for longer duration so that was a quick very very quick overview of pomodoro technique if you want to learn in depth about how to use this technique step by step you can watch my video link in the description and by clicking the i button and this video that we are discussing here today is one of the tools that helps you utilize the pomodoro technique so without wasting any more time let's get started First thing is first, first you need to define how many minutes will each session of your Pomodoro cover. Now it's a personal choice, I usually like to go for 50 minutes of studying and 10 minutes of break. So each session in my Pomodoro will last for 50 minutes. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I go to the settings and select each Pomodoro session as 50 minutes and then I take a 10 minutes of short break. So this is something personal choice. So this is a personal choice for each of us. So I'm showing this upfront because this will become important later in, in the video. So having said that, let's move on. See, this option that's open right in front of you, this option lets you use your focus timer app as a Pomodoro app as well as a task manager app. So this is the main feature of this app that a lot of people don't know about. So let me explain how you use this. If you go to this page once you open the app and see at the bottom here you can see it says add project so for your convenience and to make things simple for you add project means a uh, project could be thought of as a, a subject in your exams like for example if you have taken a course there will be multiple subjects in a similar manner each project could be dedicated to that different subject so let me add a project right in front of you for example say i need to study law for my exam so let me write law law is a project i do okay so in by default i have inbox if you don't select any project everything gets saved on inbox but now that you know how to use this app i think you should create different projects for different subjects for yourself so let me add one more project over here let's say audit okay audit is another subject i need to study so audit see two projects are here let me add another one like this a Khalid um indirect tax indirect tax there you go so guys i've created three projects over here now let me add some task let's go to law i clicked on law now see there's an option that says add a task so i click over here and i write uh, study company law company law is a chapter within law and see now that it asks me the estimated pomodoros 
now you also have an option to select the number of minutes that a pomodoro lasts for you in my case i have selected it as 50 so if i do 3 pomodoro it means that for today the task of studying law will consist of 3 50 minute sessions of pomodoros so i'm planning this this is a task management planning tool for you not just a pomodoro technique tool so this is how you do it next there's a flag if i click it it shows me the priority option so let me select this as high priority next law is another thing that's highlighted over here and it's coming up over here because i added this task on my project of law so i know it, i think you get that next is this sign over here see now if you want this if you are doing this in the morning of the day and you want to do all this task for today then you select today but if you are planning for the next day or some other day then you can select all those options over here as well for me let me select this as today there you go now i do done see now let me explain something here the number of tasks to be done is shown as one because i have only added one task within the project of law next there is estimated time 2.5 hours see i have selected three pomodoros right here in the bottom and each pomodoro lasts for um 50 minutes so when you add 50 minutes three times it is equivalent to 2.5 hours that is 2 hours and 30 minutes see that is the estimated time that i have de dedicated myself to study now once i study that once i do that task it will come on it will be um it will be visually represented on this side of this app the side that says time lapse okay and finally this is completed task the moment you complete this task the one that writes one on the left hand side becomes zero and the one on the right hand side which says completed task one i think you get the point it's pretty simple now let's go back see now if i go to this if i take a quick overview the law task says 2.5 hours and one task it means i have one task worth of 2.5 hours that i need to complete today so in the morning once you have a quick view of this it gives you an easy way to see the number of things that you have to do or the number of studies that you have to complete so guys that was one of the ways to do it and i did that for law so let me quickly show you by doing the same thing for some other subjects as well so study <clears throat> bank audit Today, of course i'm planning this for today so i'll select today that I'll, I'll do done there you go see now it says 0 0.8 hours is the estimated time see i have my standard pomodoro session for me that i've set up on this app is 50 minutes and 50 minutes is equivalent to 0 0.8 hours if you do a little bit of maths it's quite simple so don't be bothered by this it's only giving you time in terms of hours and next is task to be completed one because i've only created one task for audit for example let me do one more done see now what happens is that the number of tasks to be completed within audit project are two and the estimated time is 1.7 hours so i guess guys you get the point but let me go back now see before the audit section was zero like it's zero on indirect tax section over here but now it says audit two task 1.7 hours if you want to see a complete overview of the number of things that you have to do in a day you go to today right over here see then you can see everything and the benefit of this is that early in the morning when you check this app for the number of hours you need to dedicate for studies you can get a quick overview of estimated hours that you need to dedicate towards that study session so in my case if these two were the only things i needed to study today then i would have to give 4.2 hours of my entire day to this task so this is a very useful data and using this data i can plan my other activities to be done throughout the entire day so this was the main feature of this app let me go back you see there's an option that says tomorrow as well so tomorrow is nothing but the 
overview of tasks that you need to complete but instead of today it's tomorrow so if i go to indirect tag and create a task instead of today i select tomorrow and i do two sessions for this see and i do done okay now see tomorrow will show 1.7 hours and number of tasks as one because i just set it up for tomorrow so this is nothing but planning for your coming up day now upcoming is same thing if i plan a task and select the date as upcoming it will come at upcoming and if i don't give any date for a particular task it will come up at some day so guys one way to add a task was by going to entire project single one by one but another way is to plan it according to the day as well so if i plan a task by clicking the project first in that case i'm making a plan for that particular project in mind but there's also another way to do this that is by directly going to the date of the project so if i go to someday and click a task for example study the study for example the study then see it shows indirect tax by default but i can click over here and select the project myself i could make this audit for example and i could select even the priority and number of pomodoros for example two pomodoros then i click done see now this task has been saved on some day okay okay now let's go to this window once again and let's say i go to today now i need to start studying for example then i click on this task okay now to start your studies of law for that particular day what you do is you click on this play button it brings you this it brings you to this window and see it starts playing your pomodoro session has started and if you look at top over here it says three it shows you three timers it means when you plan for the studies you estimated that you will be needing three pomodoro sessions for this task and until you complete these three sessions you will be going through you will be seeing these three pomodoros over here and yeah that's how you do it guys it was a pretty simple process but still i thought that i would comprehensively explain it to you now you get the point guys this was the main section of the app and this is where a lot of people had complications to use this app and i think i have explained it quite well so guys that was all about the video today and let me know all your queries that you had from this video in the comment section down below so that depending on what your queries are i can make next video in response to those comments so yeah definitely comment down below and if you have